type of players we like to attract are, are guys who love to play the game, who are tough, physical, smart, and really who are reliable. Guys you can count on day in and day out. I think that's a that's the type of guy we, we love to have around the makeup that's we think essential to building a championship type team. Well, I think it's it's a standard of, of excellence right now that it's it's already raised the bar for us. There's already a bar that's been raised by the past teams. I think in the, the last three years in existence, I think they were the most winningest regular season. Uh, they had the winningest regular season record in the league. So I think coming in, the expectation is high. The level is high. We're in, we're in a uh, football rich region, and as far as AFL goes, they're they're one of the top teams ever to play in the AFL. So. I think it puts us you know, on alert right now, and I think uh, it's going to be a great challenge and, and force us really to compete every day to, to hold ourselves to that standard. I think the key to ring football is possessions. I think offensively your goal is just to maximize your possessions. If you can score 80% or more of your possession, I think you have a better, better chance of winning the game. I think defensively, if you can keep them obviously from scoring less than 70% or less than 80% of the time, you're going to win the game. So. Offensively, our goal is to maximize possessions. Defensively, is to, to manufacture stops and create turnovers. I think it, the, the better you can do that, the more you can maximize your possessions, the greater chance you're going to have to win. I think, you know, in my mind, not being biased, I think the South Division should be the, the toughest division week in and week out. It's a black and blue division, it's a highly skilled division. It's a, a division of, of extremely talented players and coaches. So I, in my mind, I think we're in the, 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 uh, the strongest division in the league. New AFL, it's a, it's, a, it's a new AFL. It's a younger generation. So I think the talent level is there, and it's going to continue to grow and rise. You're talking about NFL players, CFL players, a lot of former AFL players who were on the rise, who have, not, have never, never did blossom in the AFL because it was cut short. So I think it's a new structure that has the potential to grow to be even better than the old, old AFL. The talent level is there. I think as we prepared to build our team for 2011, our goals in the offseason was really to be strong up front. And we spent an enormous amount of time, tremendous amount of time, looking for quality defensive linemen and offensive linemen. So I think our first probably almost two months of offseason recruiting, the focus was pass rush and pass protection. So I think we've done a, a tremendous job of accumulating talent on both sides of the ball. I think the next phase, I think um, as we continue to build our team, is the skill position obviously is very important in real football. So I think um, you know right now we have a competitive group up in the secondary on defense and at receiver. I think we have a good blend of, of big, fast, physical guys. So I think uh, you know, both sides of those are uh, the ball in those areas is going to be competitive as well.